Good afternoon, Lace Jeff, and I'm John. This is Betty Atruda, and welcome to Thomas Was Alone, the greatest narrative platform game about rectangles ever created. And it's coming out on the Switch imminently, so I thought, okay, good chance to finally bring this onto the channel, because uh, I love this game. It's just, it's just wonderful. It's just a lovely, warm cup of tea and a hug in game form. Seriously, if you don't know what this is and you don't know what we're getting into here, sit down Get yourself a nice warm glass of milk, get some cookies, because you're in for a treat today. The program was a failure. People forget this, it was a massive flop. The coders started adding name strings to the AIs as jokes. Thomas AT23612 wasn't special, it was just an AI in the right place at the right time. Thomas was alone. Wow, a weird first thought to have. And here we go. This here is Thomas. Thomas is a rectangle, and you know, possibly an AI, and that's pretty much what he's gonna be the entire game. His only animation is uh, he does a little, you know, squish when he jumps, he doesn't have a face, he can't emote, he doesn't even have a voice. The entire story is handled through either text or the narration. That's pretty much, you know, the entirety of what the game's gonna be. But by the end of this, you are going to be very emotionally invested in this rectangle, successfully, you know, jumping over things. You start in, you know, a pretty much plain empty space, and you have to get yourself to a hole that's about your shape. So rectangle block goes in rectangle hole, as such. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. So there we go. Thomas is just starting to, you know, figure out what's uh, going on in the world. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to... What's the word? Jump. It worked! Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. I just love this narration so much. This game is just... It's just a joy. Just sit back and relax and enjoy, damn it. We're gonna have a lovely time this evening. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Man, paranoia. You've got to listen to the uh, narration though. Sometimes it's going to give you just a little bit of a hint about, you know, uh, bad things to come. Watch out for water too, by the way. Water will kill you because rectangles like, you know, dissolve in water or something. I guess. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. It's just so damn charming. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. And the whole thing's, you know, just lovely and relaxing and feels like a deconstruction of platforming, but on top of that, you know there's something... There's something untoward going on with uh, that initial mention of uh, AIs. So, yeah, there's just something slightly... Uh, not creepy, but mysterious going on under the surface. It's just... it's just a lovely story. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. He made another mental note. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. And that over there is a respawn point. Very useful indeed. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. 
poor old Thomas does not enjoy being alone. Here we go, this seems like a better way up than where I was going in the first place. It's just, you know, keep on keeping on. We'll find someone sooner or later. Spoiler warning, Thomas does not in fact spend the entire game alone. The game's got a very, you know, deceptive title in many ways. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. And once again, the slightest hints of, you know, some form of actual plot going on in the backgrounds. But all of a sudden, the music changes. I submit a bug reports, so I told that idiot this would happen, overlapping scripts, more than one AI was bound to be spawned into an environment at some point. Turns out I missed the point, that little error changed everything. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? And now all of a sudden, we've got ourselves two bloody shapes. And I can switch between them. This here, this is the most important single part of the game. You're gonna have yourself two things, sometimes more than two things, uh, simultaneously. You can switch between them, and they've got different abilities. So Thomas, Thomas has got a really, really good jump on him. But no, our little yellow friend here, he doesn't. So therefore, everybody needs to work together. It's a game about teamwork, because uh, they need to make it to the right exit portal. So, uh, here we go. You, my friend, just go over here, and Thomas can make it over here. So sometimes the blocks have to help each other out. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually, not technically graceful, it's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. And sadly, poor little Chris can't make it up here but we know there's someone else present. So skip over here and we've got ourselves, uh, here we go, Thomas. So Thomas is gonna help out Chris, it's gonna be lovely. So the world is forming up around us, just gonna make our way over. Sometimes you know, they're gonna start separate, but then make their way slowly over to each other. Okay, I got a little bit uh, boot right there, but I'm sure it's all absolutely fine. And we should be coming up on Chris momentarily. There we go. Once again, Thomas can just help Chris out. And it's just going to be... It's basically just a game about, you know, friendship and cooperation with a fun little kind of mystery thing going on. And save time, yes. Uh, very often, uh, one shape can carry around uh, another, which saves a lot of time having to do things uh, at once. They do sometimes, like, you know, bounce off. So you've got to be a little bit careful of... Uh, that for a second. Uh, but yes, carrying is going to be an advanced technique we're going to need to get to uh, later. I'm going to be honest, I forgot that Thomas's thing was not down here. So, okay, that carrying was actually, you know, not helpful as it turns out. Instead, yes indeed, Thomas needs to go back to, you know, where Chris started and vice versa. Okay, this was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it. Which, of course, made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? And here we go. Chris is small. So sometimes Chris can fit into all sorts of environments Thomas can't get into. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. And up you go, and up you go. Marvellous. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. All right, you just get up there. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. And now we can just, you know, go down over here. And... Alright, where are we going next, precise? Bloody hell, Chris, come on. 
Chris! Chris, just, just hop on, mate. It's fine. So now we just need to... Okay, I can't jump like that, but like this... Okay. I can't do that. That's not going to fly. Can I make these jumps? Though? Okay, I can just make these jumps. Because, yes, even if you're right on the edge, you can actually make, you know, the full jump anyway. So you've got to make sure, you know, you're far enough towards the end when you begin your jump. Then you're golden. This is particularly useful for, you know, very long flat rectangles, which we'll be getting to in time. And I'm guessing same thing over here. So go and just about and done. Lovely. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. All right, and then you can come over here. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. I love Chris. Chris is great. He hoped the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. Okay, how are we going to get you over to here, though? Can you make the jump? Just. Just you can. And... Okay, you can get through here. If you go at full speed, can you... Yes, there you go. you got a bit of momentum. If you do that, then you just head over in this direction. Thomas can't actually follow, so this is all absolutely A-OK. -okay. And... Uh, any chance of a dear oh flipping dear? Thomas is just going to be going a different way round. It's been a long time since I've played this, by the way. It's been a very long time, so I've forgotten how some of the individual levels go. It's wonderful. I'm getting to experience it afresh all over again, which is just lovely. And nice, easy, jumpy over it with the water. And along we go. Marvellous. And hello, we've got a new friend. John knew. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. John is very enthusiastic about life, and he's also very, very good at jumping. John is excellent when it comes to jumping. But the problem is, of course, yes, if we actually want to get Chris into position, that's going to be a bit more of an issue. So now we get over to here, and you hop over the top, and there we go. Marvellous. This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Oh, John, be nice. Chris is a star. So, box, and then, no, out the way, out of the way, please, thank uh, you. Because, yes, John may think they're in the way, but to be honest, he's the one in the way, actually. Because as you probably noticed, yes, they can't reorientate, they're always the same orientation. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. John's lovely too. John's just great. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. Bless you, John. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he'd practised in the mirror all these years. Okay, John's a bit of a dick, but we love John anyway. Now, yep, Thomas helps out Chris, just as he's always done. Life is good. So here we go. No, not you. Not bloody you, dear oh flippin' dear. Right, over we go. And to the top. Marvellous. In fact, here we go. All three going together. Life is marvellous. So, bloody hell, Chris. Okay, you did that yourself. Not my fault. You can just have a nice life here. So on this occasion, yeah, Chris just uh, fits through the middle. And then Thomas will need John's help to get up to the top because he can't jump quite high enough. And John, John is just magnificent. John needs no help at all. And yes, you may notice they are just, you know, little squares and rectangles. But they've just got so much personality, damn it. Okay, big tall thing on this occasion. So uh, by any chance with like everybody else's help, could you make it marvellous? He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. And now, 
we should have ourselves. Yep, that is fine for... Is that fine for both of you, by the way? Yeah, that's fine for both of you. Marvelous. So then over to you again. Now that should be enough for... Well, it's enough for you, but you can't actually... Hmm. Okay, hang on. How are we going to get you just a little bit further up? Okay, if you're about here, and then you make a, there we go, three-person staircase. Love it. That solves that problem. And same thing again here. Is this going to, yep, that is all absolutely fine. Thomas needs John's help, and Chris needs Thomas's. Lovely. Right, now everyone needs to get in the elevator. So that should be fine. You can get up there. And John's just a bit slow. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. Oh, so you've got to love how, yes, John likes Thomas because Thomas applauds him. And Thomas applauds because, you know, he's good at jumping and enjoys jumping too. It's just, it's very charming. So, okay, let's see if we can make this horizontal jump. Yes, we can. And two for the price of one. Marvellous, though. Okay, that's not going to fly, actually. Never mind, we're leaving Chris behind. I think Chris can make this when this is at uh, the summit, right? Yes, that's all absolutely fine. Marvellous. Then just a few more staircases and we should be A, flipping okay. The angry orange one was less immediately likeable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. And here we go, demonstrating the power of friendship. We have done it. We have made it to the top. Even Chris, he was a bit grumpy about the whole thing, but he did make it. That's the important thing. Lovely. This was interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. God bless you, John. You're magnificent. Maybe that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. All right, so Thomas is in the right spot. Now, Chris, we might need to get you a little bit of help because you need to... Yeah, I think, uh, unfortunately... Okay, Thomas, you're going to need to come back for a second. Uh, because can you actually make it... No, it's going to take everybody to get Chris into position, actually. Right, now three steps, and then you can just get down over to here. So, okay, Chris is the uh, Chris is the easy one. That's all absolutely fine. Then, uh, do you actually need... Uh, you could have done that by yourself, actually, but I'm sure that's all a-okay. In which case, you to here. Round you go. And... Never mind, just give me a sack. As we were saying, up to here. Then John goes into position... Because, yes, obviously, uh, Thomas is falling, so he has to be last. Lovely. And now, we have got a change of music. Again. The initial group possessed simple variations in size and strength. The more complex configurations were inevitable. As the error spread, these variations became increasingly extreme. So, this was how Claire would die. She knew it would happen eventually. She was rubbish at jumping, and she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Hey, what? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realised she had superpowers. Yes, indeed. Claire is unique in that she can float, which is magnificent. She'd need a cape. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. And, you know, floating in water, which was her superpower. And obviously, as you can see, we now need to start thinking about, you know, carrying 
a lot more. So carrying to get her into a position where she can jump because her jump's not very good. And then of course, yes, because she has got a nice good shape for these sorts of pillars, she can carry John. Absolutely magnificent. In fact, I'd forgotten this game literally has a level where Claire and John hang out together, which is, well, that's just marvellous, isn't it? And away we go. All right. Fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. Claire is not rubbish. Claire's a great name. Boo game. And now everybody can just get over to here. Absolutely beautiful. So yes, Claire can ferry everybody else. The problem is, no, not you, Chris. Bloody hell. Can Claire get out of the water on this side by herself? She can as well. Marvellous. Claire arrived just in time. Which was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. And now we have got ourselves, uh, yes, water slowly rising. But Thomas needs to help out with Claire as well. Because otherwise, yes, Claire will get a bit squished by the rising water level. So just keep an eye out for where we need to go. Scout ahead. Jay, you can't move the camera. You've just got to wait for uh, your character to move. As the water began to rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. I love Claire. Claire's actually one of my favourite characters in the game. Claire is magnificent. I love her. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Claire wondered if Thomas would make a good sidekick. Or was she more the lone Avenger type? Oh, she'd like that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. And she goes there, and Thomas goes there. Nice and simple. Yeah, Claire's the best. I love Claire and her desire to be a superhero square. Now, how are we going to make everyone work together on this occasion? So, yes, you obviously can get around here, but Claire is also going to need... Uh, Claire's going to need a bit of assistance, too. So that's all absolutely fine. In fact, okay, you just get out of there. You get out of here. And then, Chris, would you just like to go for a ride? Okay, Claire can't jump while carrying Chris. The others told Claire that staircases were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. And then just don't forget to bring Claire along too. Because yeah, John's the most mobile. John can very easily go wherever the hell he wants. Because John's just magnificent, obviously. Uh, but uh, yes, there's more problems with... Can you make it up here? Yes, you can make it up here. There's more problems getting uh, Claire and particularly Chris around from point A to point B. So, final step. There we flipping go. No, not like that though. Okay. Well, everybody just get over here. You just hop on and you just hop on too. Right, everyone's now hanging out together. And yes, Claire can now just basically ferry them from point A to point B. Lovely. So, Claire, you bloody dropped them. Bloody useless. Right, go a bit more slowly, Claire. Come on, let's not drop Chris. We like Chris. Chris is great. So now, over to here. Then again, actually, sorry, my mistake. Chris needs to... Uh, Chris needs to stay here, as it turns out. So you just stay here. Though, actually, you need to be... You need to be the other side, though. Ooh, now... Now it's a bit difficult. Okay, everyone else can just get over the top. It's fine. So you just stay there. You hop off. You just hop over the top. Be over to here. You hop over the top, too. And then Claire brings everybody to safety. No, not you. Not you. You stay where you were. You were doing well already. And then you to here. Though actually, uh, Claire needs to get into position first. Because she can't hop over John. And then John bounces back the other side. Boom. Lovely. Claire probably needed a nemesis. A villain who would show their true colours at the worst possible moment. Hurting all she held dear. I feel like John's a good candidate. Chris was the most obvious choice. He seemed stroppy enough and... His jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. No, it's John. John should be the villain. Yes. Chris. Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher. Okay, now I'm trying to remember what the solution is here because, hang on, if I'm... If we all pile on, does that reduce the water level at all? And also, John! 
I definitely feel like John should be Claire's nemesis. That's definitely the right way to go. Okay, everybody off for the time being. Claire needs to make this journey by herself. There might be... Is there a switch to... Yeah, we're going to slightly lower the water level, aren't we? That's much better. Though we might have lowered it a bit too much there, to be honest. Right, everybody down, please. Everybody down. Claire's going to help you across because Claire is the greatest superhero of all. So over to here. Marvelous. And we got some more stairs. Nothing we haven't uh, seen before. Claire, you almost killed them all there. Though actually, that is a... That is an alternative solution. Yes, you're not wrong. Fair enough. All right, so over to here, over to here, up to the top. And now the rest of this should be nice and easy. Love it. Where had Chris gone? Was he off somewhere? Plotting Claire's downfall? If Claire was honest, and she had to be because she was a superhero, this was a troubling turn of events. Still... There were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. Yes, we've suddenly lost Chris. Dramatically. Alright, so everybody back on. We're just doing some nice, simple ferrying here. No trouble at all. Alright, no trouble. Though the world is... The world's a little bit of a jaunty angle right now, it must be said. And we can even get over the top here. Life is good. Spectacular, in fact. So, Claire just uh, moves into position. Now, can everyone else just go ahead? Or do we need Claire further on? Nope, we're golden. John can take care of this by himself. Hooray for John, the true hero, both super and otherwise, of course. Moving platforms over water, eh? Claire's newly heightened senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations of the little posse. Okay, we may have just slightly, slightly killed Thomas there. Okay, then Thomas killed John, so it's fine. Okay, just hop over and let the platform do its own thing. To be honest, I feel like we are... We're okay as we are, I think, potentially. Yes, we don't even need uh, Claire on this occasion, so... Oh! Okay, that's all absolutely fine. Yes, even though Claire has made it to... Uh, the next uh, checkpoint. Obviously, Thomas hasn't, so he has to go back to the last one. So now, uh, John has, and in a moment, Thomas will do as well. And now, everyone is golden. Everyone in the centre, in case you like, you know, joggle around a bit. They were doing really well. Like that. Claire hoped she could get them all across. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. Okay, I'd forgotten that there is actually, yes, a very John and Claire relationship between John and Claire. Where Claire just wants to be helpful and help everyone, and John's just being a dick and thinking, well, I could probably do this by myself. I don't need friends. This is this is just marvellous. And oh, uh oh. Okay, none of that was none of that was part of the plan. But it's all fine. Everything's under control. Just get on top over over to here and then go. Okay, he sort of straight up just abandoned, yeah. John just abandoned Thomas there. Straight up abandoned him. And moved on. But that's fine. Claire, you should be golden to get somewhere over here, right? Yes, this should all be... This should all be absolutely fine. Little scruffy, but we got the job done in the end. And now, Claire's all alone. Claire was alone. Which was odd. Because she wasn't meant to be alone. She needed to be where there were rectangles to save. Being the only superhero in a given space kind of defeats the object. Spikes? That was new. Claire avoided them. She decided they were most likely her kryptonite. Not the rubbish red kryptonite either, the proper radioactive green stuff. And yeah, you can see here she can jump right to the edge, which is very important. So on, we flip and go with Claire, the greatest hero of them all after John. And, uh, yep, straight through. Spikes. Spikes bad, understandably. And thankfully, yes, Claire has found Thomas, but still no John. And, okay, wasn't really supposed to do that. And, okay, seriously, watch the spikes. Get too close to them, bad things happen. Deja vu. Now we have got... The world was repeating. And this time Thomas was here. Claire felt something had gone wrong. There was a disturbance in the force. Something had altered the Matrix. The world was reacting to their progress. It was amassing its forces. 
was plotting against them. Claire might be a bit paranoid, by the way. Claire finally had a nemesis. And now we just repeat what we just did to get back into position to help Thomas across. Just got to be careful though because yes, too much height means spikes. So Claire needs to go here first and then afterwards uh, Thomas needs to, uh, you know, come and join. Uh, wants us a bit of, you know, headspace floating around. Lovely. And remember you can just do a tiny little mini hop just by tapping the A very lightly. Marvellous. Meanwhile, you may notice a brand new shape here. I built protections into the system. When overlaps occurred, the world generated a splitter to remove the unwanted additionals. It's like a white blood cell. It investigates, it captures, it removes from play. So we've got something new to deal with, including a brand new friend. Laura was pleased this one was behind a wall. Maybe he'd never know what she could do. Maybe, maybe they could just have a conversation. Hang out. As long as he didn't find out what she could do. Which would never happen so long as they stayed separate. Because Laura has a secret. I love Laura. Laura's great too. Alright, Chris. You just keep on keeping on, my friend. Nice, simple introduction. So obviously Laura is very flat. So Laura can fit into some tight spaces. But... Her jump is, yeah, even worse than Chris's. So gotta be careful of that. Laura didn't have time to worry about the ominous pixel cloud. It had been following her for some time and it had kept itself to itself until now. More important was the little orange thing, which was looking at her in a way that she kind of, well, liked. Come on. Gotta watch out for that weird pixel cloud thing. As the square, who had shyly introduced himself as Chris, bounced atop Laura, she began to worry that he was just using her like all the others had. They'd all bounced too, and then they disappeared when her back was turned. So yes indeed, Laura is a trampoline, which is as close to, you know, sexual as this game gets. To be honest, Laura, yes, there's definitely, there's definitely a sexual edge to the trampolining. So just, here we go. But Chris seems into her, which is nice. You know what? Maybe they can hang out going forwards. It's lovely. So just, you know, keep moving her into position. More switches. Only the ominous pixel cloud ever remained, looking a little bigger and a little less hungry with every disappearing friend. Yes, I feel like Laura's friends haven't been abandoning her. Something uh, much worse has been going on instead. Up to the top, and on we go. Marvellous. With every bounce, Laura found herself less and less irritated by Chris. She started to miss him when he wasn't there. On another platform or something. Alright, so... How is your jumping? Because yes, horizontal jumping, she's pretty good at. Because she can get a full jump from right here. So this is all absolutely fine. Right over there, you just get out of the way. And then if we can, uh, you just need to... Okay, Laura, a little bit, little bit inconvenient there. That's more like it. Alright, so that's a way forward, presumably for... It could be for... No, not for Chris. For Laura. Sorry, my mistake. Right, Chris, you stay where you are. Laura, I assume, needs to come this way. And there we go. Just jibbles onto the she top. wonder what he was up to. Was he missing her? He wasn't saying very much. Oh, Laura's a little bit insecure as well. Just keep on moving and get up to the top okay can't get up to the top right uh laura might need your help a bit before we're ready to go and then a horizontal okay that would have worked had i not fluffed it right there seriously good yeah horizontal jump is fine and we're golden spectacular chris was in love she was perfect he had to tell her so. Not in a room full of spikes, she ain't. At some point, he would definitely tell her. Probably best to wait for a moment the large, ominous pixel cloud wasn't about, though. Yeah, 
Probably best to wait. She's not perfect sometimes, Chris. Sometimes she does kill you by tossing you into spikes. And yes, here we go. There's the ominous pixel cloud. Uh, problem is, how well can you ferry him? If you go to... Oh, that didn't work at all. No. Uh, okay. You might just need to take care of this one by yourself, Chris. Sorry, Laura is no Claire. She's no great superhero. So that's uh, going to be a slight issue. But that's all absolutely fine. Just some, you know, nice, delicate platforming. Game's pretty generous because, yeah, if the slightest bit of you touches the thing, you're officially uh, A-OK. -okay. I feel, Chris, like Laura just straight up did abandon your mind. So, you know, maybe you're getting a little bit too heavy into this relationship a little bit too fast. And with one final boing, off we go. Marvellous. And here we go. Our old friends are back. Though, given how we discussed about the trampolining earlier, oh, Chris, Chris is not going to be happy about any of this, actually. No, this is, this is a bit, oh, oh, dear. Uh, right, maybe get everyone else out the way, out the way, actually. Marvellous. And go. Chris was massively disappointed to run into the gang again. He'd enjoyed the alone time with... His new girlfriend. And now, yes, Thomas should be able to fit through here. There's the terrifying pixel cloud again. And just keep everyone moving down. And now, aha, you get over to here. Chris, this one is all yours by the Luke of it. Just keep it all. Too early to refer to Laura as his girlfriend. Only if I say it out loud, he told himself. He didn't want to scare her off. Chris and Laura are very cute. Okay, what do we need to do here? Well, John obviously being the big damn hero, he's the one that needs to go first because John is magnificent. All right, back to our friends here. And down we go. In we go as well. You're already in the right spot. We are safe from the terrifying pixel cloud just for the moment. And... Off we go. Poor Chris, he was having a nice time. The others seemed suspicious of Laura and the eager-looking pixel cloud of death which seemed to be watching her. Sure, they'd use her inherent bounciness to reach slightly higher jump points, but they wouldn't strike up a conversation with her. Chris found them rude. Rude and always there. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, step one. John plus Laura equals progress. All right, so we can just keep this going on. Over to here. Lovely. Right, that should be Chris now in a perfect position. So he's now taken care of and he can't get anywhere else anyway. So we're golden. And no Thomas on this occasion. So, okay. How are we going to get you into a good... Oh, blimey. Okay. Hang on. You get over to here. You get over to here. John, you drop down. Then you just... There we go. Spectacular. And John needs no help because John is the best. The others wouldn't drop it. Who's that cloud guy? Why is he following us? What's that rumbling hungry sound he keeps making? Chris, can we just leave Laura behind? Okay, just... Aha, uh -huh, hang on. Hang on, there's might be a good chance to get Laura into a good uh, position here on top of a thing. But mainly, we probably want to be using Laura to try and get John a bit higher, if at all possible. And oh blimey, okay, this oh, okay, well that was that was dramatic. Uh, okay, let's just see what's further up ahead because I can't remember. Might be a good switch or something. And yes, oh here we go. Right, well there's something. Oh. Well, that just went off into space. Marvellous. Hope we weren't supposed to be on that at the time. Okay. So, is that now reactivated? No, that's now just going up and down. Okay. We need to get everybody up to here. Now, for John, that's not a problem. For everyone else, a little bit more so. In particular, yes. Uh, getting Claire into position is going to be uh, interesting. She can do good uh, horizontals. So, if we get her to here, we're going to need her to help out... Chris. The problem is, how do we get Chris over to her in the first place? So, yeah, Chris will need uh, probably her help just to... Oh, and go, go, 
That's fine. Now, if you two would like to get out the way, this might be how we get Chris up to the top, actually. This might be enough. No, it's not quite enough, unfortunately. That's a shame. But it does get Chris to here. So everyone's now up on this one. How are we going to get Laura up to the next tier, however? Because, yeah, her vertical jump is terrible. The horizontal, here we go. Over to here. And here we go. Okay, now, no, 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 no. Okay, that sort of worked, aside from the various wrong ways we did that. But that's fine. Give it a moment. Chris will be able to, yes, take advantage of the bounce and get up to the top here. Laura is now in an excellent, excellent spot to help out her possibly boyfriend, Chris. And as for Thomas, that should be no trouble whatsoever. Right, here we go. No problem there. Move over to Laura. Laura comes here and everyone is golden. Now the only problem we've got, however, is yes, a staircase for... I'm not sure Laura can even know. Laura can't even use the staircase. So how are we going to make this happen? Okay, pop a Chris down about here. Then you can get to here. Now, from there, you can get to... There we go. We got it. So, it's just, yeah, a little half staircase right there. And then Laura can get up to the very top and can do a... Okay, that was, that was fine right up to the point where it went wrong. But basically, that was fine. Okay, that time, same thing, but went better though. Oh, hang on. Laura might need to... Wait for a moment because actually if she can make the horizontal jump Chris probably can too This is probably fine right and go. Oh, yeah, this is fine. We don't need anyone else We just need to uh, we just need to sink the bouncers We'll just you know give them a bit of privacy up there while the rest of us You know just start making our way in the world and go there we go two for the price of one and then Bloody hell John you went too early and you fluffed it and now, there we go. Just need to wait for a second of synchronization and uh, the whole gang's back together. Marvellous. In fact, actually, is this the first time? Uh, yep, literally everyone, all five. Absolutely spectacular. John obviously starts, you know, ahead of everyone else because John is the best. John is the biggest damn hero. We like to, you know, pretend Claire is, but no, no, she's not. Right, you get over here. Is this going to be rising water? Yep, that's going to be rising water. So now we just need to get everybody... Into a nice, safe position. Alright, everything fine. Aside from the fact... Aha. Okay, and... Uh, we need to... Okay, you need to get out the way. Just for a second. And then you need to get over to here. No! No, it's up to Chris. We need Chris to be the big damn hero on this occasion. So you just get over there. Chris, and no, that's Claire. That's Claire, that's all fine. And now we're going to need her help again. All right, that's all absolutely fine. You get into position right there. Okay, into here. Chris to here, and in we go. Laura liked her new gang. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. These ones seem to be sticking around too. Not like those losers from before. And just one more. Presumably everyone's already in a good spot right over here. Everyone's still good? Yep, everyone still seems to be good. So, uh, that doesn't help us a huge amount, to be honest. Is there another switch? Okay. There's a nice little thing up here. We might need a little bit more yet. Okay. Let's see if, you know, Super John can do anything better. No, that's not going to fly. Okay. Where's the next button? Because we need something else yet. Oh, hang on. The water has actually... I'm not sure if there was just a bug there because I haven't pushed any switches I hadn't already pushed. But the water's... Okay, that was a bit on the uh, the peculiar side. Right, well, it all seems to be fine now, so I'm sure we're all a-okay. So, okay, we need to get we need to get a few people up top. You need to get over to here. Can you make it over to here? No, okay, we need an elevated Laura. That shouldn't be too difficult to do do. So you just move her to here. And that is just not not quite. Boo. Boo I say. 
All right. Uh, Claire, could you maybe help with some of this? Now, from there, can you make it to... No, you can't make it to there from here. Okay, hang on. What's the... What's the order of play here? Okay, now from this orientation. Okay, so I can get Laura on top of Claire right there. The only problem is that doesn't... Yeah, then I can't actually get anybody else up except... Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This old chestnut. Okay, everybody together. Boom. Got it. Okay, now you get up to there. Oh, flipping teamwork. Teamwork right over to here. Lovely. You just get over to here. You just get over to here. There we go. That, that took me a while. It starts off nice and simple, but it gets, you know, complicated at some point. And now we've also got rolling death spikes, which is also, you know, nice. The pixel cloud was getting closer. It was spending more and more time hovering around. Laura could tell it was making the others uncomfortable. Okay, everybody just needs to, you know, get up to a good position and avoid the spiky cloud. Right, nice and fast. Claire into position as well. Oh, though, slight issue. Who's going to... Okay, how are we going to get Laura up, though? Can she do a jump off? Okay, she can do a jump off Thomas, but she needs... Ah, she needs no one else to be in the way first. Otherwise, problems. I mean, if we could just get... But, okay, everyone else just needs to shuffle along for a second. Alright, everyone else just shuffle along for a second, because Laura needs a landing spot. After that point, we can figure out the rest of it, but she needs somewhere she can actually, you know, land, and maybe just a little bit more just for safety. That should be okay, right? Yes, that should be fine. Thomas can make his own way up, however. All right. And Thomas, is, Thomas needs to be last into position. Now, the problem we've got here is... Uh, okay. How do we move this into position? Okay, just get over to here. And then you just get over to here. Okay, that's good enough. And that's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. That's... Everything's under control. It's fine. Uh, okay. You're pretty close to being in position already. You need to get into a position, but after we move you over, then we need to move Laura out of the way as soon as possible. So go, and then go, and then back to you. And you need to be not bouncing. Good, 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 good. And then we just need... Uh, yes, okay, this is, this is fine. You just go over to here. You can shuffle over a little bit too. You can move over a little bit. Okay. As soon as it passes over us, we start bouncing, and then we move you to... That was completely the wrong one. That was completely the wrong one. A panic, panic, abort. Okay. I need to tap B twice to go to the right one afterwards. Okay. Go, and go, go. To here. And then... Got it, just... Okay, that was... That was... That was tight. Okay. And... Uh, no simulation can support too many entities. At a certain point, something has to give. If Thomas hadn't possessed those exact personality traits, it's likely the story would have ended there. We'd still be in business. Thomas did not like the cloud. He'd long since stopped listing his observations, but he instinctively observed that this thing was bad. And he'd been right about the water. Everybody has to, you know, do their own thing. Everyone has to be friends. It's going to be wonderful. Though getting you up is going to be a bit more tricky. Over to here. You need to just get out of the... Then again, do you need to get out of the way? Okay, how are we going to get you up? Uh, is this good enough right over here? No, it is not. And Claire can't make it back up without Laura's help. Actually, she probably can, just using a staircase. The priority is getting Laura up, because everyone else should be okay. Uh, so that's all absolutely fine. I just need someone to give you a tiny, tiny bit more height. Okay, how are we going to give you the tiniest bit more height? It's going to be Chris, isn't it? Yeah, we're all going to come together to help Laura. And there we go. 
Okay, Laura's now in position. Laura needs to come over to here. That's all fine. And now we just need to get uh, Claire back up, which should not be tricky. Because Claire's got, like, you know, the worst jump in the world. I'm pretty sure she can do a... Yeah, she can do a, uh, a Thomas to John. So that's all absolutely fine. But, yeah, now we're into confined spaces. And then you can come over to here. That's all absolutely fine. And then we just need to get... Yes, Chris needs to get... No, Chris does not need to get the far side. Chris can just stay over the near side. Everyone can now... Everyone can now come up. So Thomas is in last. And then you just need to literally just jump over the top of Laura. Laura moves in. There we go. This should be absolutely A-OK -okay at this point. Good. Good, 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 good. Everybody, best friends, working together. And more buttons. Some specific, some not. Give it a poke. And Chris has been the big damn hero today. Oh, Chris. Well done, man. You're doing well. Admittedly, you're now trapped forever, which is, you know, a bit sad. But that's okay, because everybody's friends now. So as a result of that, John is going to use his remarkable abilities. He's not showing off. He's not talking about it. He's just going to, you know, rescue his friend. Because he feels like it. Because he's a good egg like that. So now all of a sudden... Yeah, here we go. You probably can't make it to... Uh, so that by yourself, though. Right, we might need uh, more friends uh, yet. Okay, uh, uh, using the trampoline, can you get that high? No, we're going to be needing a new and improved trampoline of some description. Okay, let's so just get Laura over to here. Laura uses that to get to here. Claire can obviously uh, carry Laura into a good position. Then uh, Thomas can just... Use that. Thomas could tell Chris was in love. And that was fantastic and everything, but that didn't mean they could let the doom cloud keep following them. Thomas was going to put his foot down once they got to the next level. Oh, Thomas, don't be a meanie. Just let them be happy, damn it. And uh, to here. And done. There's another one. Boom. We're just moving on in the world. Uh, so, okay. We're now in good shape. I just need to get... Okay, hang on. How do I get Chris to the next button? Can John do jumping even with uh, Chris on him? No, he can't. So, in which case, hang about, how are we supposed to be solving all this nonsense? Oh, Chris was just supposed to do... Oh, that makes life much easier. Okay, I slightly fluffed that one. Okay, got it. There we go. That's much better right there. And oh... Uh-oh. Yeah, this is where the tragedy starts striking. Thomas has been kidnapped. Chris. Miss Thomas. Wow. Did not see that coming. He felt a little guilty, too. Without his love for Laura and subsequent reunion with the guys, Thomas would probably still be with them. And all of a sudden, having become friends, uh, they're being picked apart. Oh dear, oh dear. And here we go. I'd forgotten this one. This took me a moment. Yes, I can now use Claire as a platform to access the next little area. Love it. Just get over to here and... Never mind. Just give me a sack. There we go. Got it the second time right there. So I'm assuming that does something over to... Okay. It does not. What it does is it facilitates Laura, the true hero, getting in under here. So that's where Laura needs to go anyway. And that's going to help, uh, yeah, let me get over to here, but, 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 okay, okay, maybe there's more to adjust yet, uh, Chris, can you sneak in there, no, Chris can't sneak in there anyway, okay, with, uh, yeah, with Claire and Laura's help, Chris can make it over to the little maze up here, that's all absolutely fine, but I'm not sure he can make that horizontal jump by himself. Maybe he can! Okay, Chris, you've impressed me. Uh, the problem we've got here is, yeah, now you can escape. That's fine. We still need to get... We still need to get Claire over there. Now, by any chance, could Claire use... Because I'm pretty confident that actually you can do most of this by yourself, right? Okay, you're going to be needing... 
Can you make this? Yes, you can make that. Okay, you can do all this by yourself. So in which case, it's just up to... Yeah, now we just need to do the same thing again we did with the button. In fact, you know what? Claire could have done this in the first place. Oh, we got this. We got this all wrong. Uh, this is all fine. Now we just go to... Never mind. Needs to time that better. But we might be able to salvage this. Might be able to salvage this. Go! Okay, that's precisely the opposite of what needs to happen. Here we go. This is all a bit awkward, but it will do a little bit. And then if we just a bit of... Oh, go, go, go. Not, not intended solution, I think. Okay, but if we just let this happen, go. Oh, yes. Okay, good, 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 good. Not, definitely not intended solution. Actually, no, can we just make this? Oh, you can just make that. Okay, so I can just make that jump anyway. Okay, I was definitely making that harder than it needs to be. Right. Okay, everything's fine. Now, at this point, we've already established you can make it over to here. Meaning, one jump from Claire. Job done. But... Do we have the gang? Oh, no, it's just Chris. Oh, Chris, I'm so sorry. I'm guessing you're not happy being alone anymore. Chris wondered if Thomas was still alive somewhere. Poor Chris. He got used to Thomas in the end. Now he's just... Falling forever. Bit sad, really. And at the bottom of a very, very long drop. We just move straight on. But Chris has now been gobbled up too. Meaning we are rapidly running out of, you know, people. Maybe the others hadn't abandoned Laura all that time ago. It began to dawn on her that she might not be the tragic victim she'd always assumed. Okay, get you over to here. You need to get over to Claire. Claire gets you into position. That should get me the bounty height we need for all of this. That lowers this just a little bit. Then we need to get Claire over to here. Okay. If you go to here, Claire can... Claire can't quite make that jump, actually. Okay. How are we going to get Claire to the tiniest tiniest bit higher. Well, one, we can get Claire to here straight away, which is fine. And just out of interest, if I was fast enough with the... That was completely the wrong way. But, like, if I was fast enough with the change over here, if I just go into... Oh, oh, almost. Almost. That... I can't make that jump. John, you know you can't make that jump. But, like, just out of interest, if I, like, pick the exact right moment... It's like, do this, then go, go! I don't think that was necessarily the correct solution, but it's sort of, uh-oh, oh, uh-oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no, oh, we've killed! Okay, so that's, that's the last one we want to do, got it. Where the flip's John going, by the way? I can't remember this mission at all. Ah, there's another blue button over here. Okay, Claire needs to get back up again. Okay, Claire goes back over here, hits this button, right, that's good. Uh, now Claire can be... Over here. Alright, there's another yellow button. That should be nice and easy. Over to the top. Another one. This is just going to slowly close up the... Oh! Everything's fine. Right, that gets you over to here. And yours was right. Boom! Job done. Bit scruffy, but... Everything is... Everything's fine. Right, button number one in here. Claire gets me up to that position. That's going to get me... Okay, little mini stairs. Uh, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, good enough for Laura to use. Laura had been the bait. She had a hunch that she wasn't needed anymore. Oh, Laura, we need you. You're actually the most useful member of the team by quite a long way, as it turns out. But before we do any of that, we need to get everyone else into a, a good position too. So, okay, we can move you, that's fine, but... Okay, we need to get you into a spot-on position. Is this going to be good enough? Nope, you're not going to squeeze through there. Aha! Now, there's another button that we can use to presumably make things a little bit more workable here. And then just go and... Uh, yeah, okay, this is all absolutely fine. And then just as soon as you go, 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 and come on, we can pull it off. It's fine. Actually, I could just use... John, you could just use this over here. Again, I feel like we slightly overthought that one. 
I feel like, yes, we kind of, we had that one already. That was, that was all absolutely fine. You just need to go over to here. Claire just needs to be ready to move everyone else over in this direction. Claire can't move like this. Can Claire jump with? No. But, uh, this is all fine. You just go right there. Claire, you get into, yes, rafty position. And then you can make, okay, you can make that. That's all absolutely fine. Then we just move you to here. That's all lovely. And now we just need to move you to this little island right here. We'll do a good job. From here, John, you can make it to the top. That's lovely. Then you can, okay, you can jump out of the water. Just make sure you don't accidentally, you know, toss uh, Laura in. And uh, Laura is gone too. And we're rapidly running out of our friends. You see, I bet some of you are feeling emotional right now about these bloody squares. John looked at Claire. It was just them now. She muttered something under her breath about a vow of vengeance. He didn't see the point. Fighting that thing seemed to be a pretty futile idea. And now it is indeed just uh, John and Claire left at this point. Now, what else do we have? We've got another button right over there. Go and join back up with Claire. I'm going to be needing her sooner or later. And... Uh, okay, well that doesn't really help me at all, actually. Can you actually get that? Oh, you can get that high. Oh, Claire, I'm impressed. Okay, one more here. Just keep it moving on. Try not to drown John if you can bloody help it. Dear, I flip and dear. Right, nudge that, then straight off the spikes. And is there going to be? Yep, thought that might be. One for John. We're just going to, you know, work together. Because we're all that's flipping left at this point. And right there. Boom. Straight down to the bottom. Now, so hang on, we've also got ourselves. Jump. This one's all yours. Land right there. Boom. Lovely. And one final blue. Should get us right down bottom. Job flipping done. And in the next mission, we've got ourselves, yes, a bit of a uh, very unusual and rarely seen time limit, actually, because problems as it turns out okay john save yourself oh dear right okay i'd forgotten this is the mission you need to be flipping fast gotcha uh so just uh yeah just as far as you can keep on keep it on just try and try and uh, keep john uh on your back as far as you can just come on come on come on come on, come on. let's just be careful because otherwise I might drop off under bad circumstances. Right, that should be plenty of... Oh, no! John! You stupid numpty. Yeah, the bounce can sometimes cause uh, trouble. Uh, this is all absolutely fine, mind. As they struggled to get to the next portal, John hoped that he would be the next to get eaten. He didn't want to be alone. Oh, that's sad right there. And then one final little hop. And no, sadly, John was alone, because Claire has been eaten. For the first time in a while, John didn't have an audience. Okay, now, like, you know, my entire life and job is related to uh, having an audience. This is starting to cut a little bit too close to home, actually. This is this hits a bit harder than the first time I played this, which was before I was a YouTuber, because this game's, like, ten years old. So this is, this is all very sad all of a sudden. You know, the idea of actually being, you know, left alone and having no one else there is actually kind of, you know, a bit of a sad one these days, given, you know, what I do and all the rest of it. He was alone. Leaping from black square to black square didn't seem nearly as exciting now. It just seemed empty. Now we just need to keep on keeping on, but only a matter of time left now. What are we going to do? And look, I like this, by the way. There's all these spaces that you can see, actually, you know what? Your friends would have been really useful in. Your friends would have been so useful in, like, you know, little holes of this description and whatnot. Would have been really good to have, say, you know, uh, Chris right here at this exact moment in time. But he's not. He's gone. So, you know, that's a bit on the sad side, really. 
Now, can I get to... Yes, I should just be able to get to here. And then on before I get crushed. And then in a moment over to... Uh, here. And then quick as you like. Who knew he'd never escape? He knew it was waiting for him. He decided to jump the massive scary gaps. For all time's sake. And yes, all of a sudden the uh, the ballad of these here rectangles becomes rather poignant, actually. So alright, just figure out where the next spot is. Uh, fluff that one. And then finally, John gets gobbled up too. And all of a sudden we are uh, out of, you know, our friends. The initial five are usually given the credit for the emergence. People forget the later architects, the AIs who made the event possible. They save Thomas and set him on his path to destiny. And all of a sudden, we've got somebody new. Someone rather different, as you may have guessed. James had always been different. And not different in that kooky, OMG, you've totally got to meet my mate James, he's literally insane, kind of way. James is, as you may have guessed, an inverted Thomas. And I quite like the fact that, um, you know, not just in the fact that he um, has the same bounce and the same shape, except he's upside down, he's inverted as a colour too. Red versus green, complementary colours, which is just... Well, that's just lovely, isn't it? So, uh, yes, this can uh, this could take a little bit of uh, time to get used to, because my brain doesn't always enjoy this nonsense, no. My brain takes one look at this and goes, nope, that's blatantly not right, right there. And uh, yeah, you can just sort of uh, figure out here, we've got ourselves a, a brand new different James with uh, a whole bunch of uh, very different puzzles. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. And yes indeed, James has also been eaten by the clouds, suggesting there might be life after being consumed. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I'd say you get the point. This here, as I tried to warn you at the beginning, is basically just, you know, a super relaxed, awesome, lovely story time featuring squares and rectangles with a lovely narration and a really good score and just... it's just lovely. Danny Wallace does a great job with the narration, he's great. So, uh, yes, I'm gonna leave things off here because this is about maybe half the game I've shown you, give or take. It's not a long game, and when it's a game as linear and narrative as this, I like to leave, you know, a bit for you guys to find. Otherwise, it doesn't really feel like, you know, fair to the game devs to show you the whole thing. So, Thomas was alone, like, five pounds or something on Steam, about to come to Switch as well. Well worth a look. See, first played this, like, ten years ago or something. It's a wonderful, wonderful game. I adore it, and I hope you've enjoyed, you know, story time with John today. Because I'd forgotten that, yeah, right at the end... John and Claire had, like, you know, a bit of a poignant moment. I'd forgotten that. That's just, uh, that's just absolutely lovely. So, okay, Thomas was alone. Well worth getting on PC or Switch, which is the brand new version coming out uh, very, very soon indeed. So, uh, do check it out, because it's just, it's just a nice time. All right, hope you've enjoyed story time. Maybe we'll do, like, you know, something like this again. A bit more story time is never going to be a bad thing. So, hopefully, you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime... I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Thomas Was Alone. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Were we doing virtual reality, or was that just like a metaphor for lesbian sex? And then he smacked me lightly across the face with the money! What? This is... Well, where is this going? What's happening? We're gonna buy a whole new bin, and we're gonna write Brendan on it, and we're gonna put him in it and toss it off the pier.